In the land of Canaan, Abraham and his nephew Lot lived happy and prosperous lives. Both of them had a lot of animals, servants, and possessions. They had so many donkeys, sheep, goats, camels, and cows that they ran out of pasture. It came time for both Abraham and Lot to find a new home with bigger pasture for their herds. One day, Abraham and Lot decided to climb a high mountain that overlooked the entire valley. Abraham kindly said to his nephew, If you go to the left, I'll go right. If you go right, I'll go left. Lot looked around, and off in the distance, to the south, he saw the well-watered valley of Jordan. He also saw the city of Sodom, which at that time, he did not realize, was one of the most wicked cities in the world. But Lot didn't care. He wanted that beautiful land for himself. In the end, Lot chose the beautiful valley of Jordan and traveled away with his family, flocks, and herds. Abraham, on the other hand, went the opposite direction, each planning a new and prosperous life. When Lot and his family finally arrived in Sodom, it was much different than what they hoped for. It was an evil, sinful city with bad people. Lot and his family were the only people that served God, but they still decided to stay in that evil city. The city of Sodom was so sinful that God decided to judge it. He was going to destroy both Sodom and Gomorrah. Even though Lot was a righteous man, he had made a foolish decision by living in Sodom. It was time for him and his family to leave. God started his judgment of Sodom and Gomorrah by sending two powerful angels to help Lot and his family safely flee the city. Lot was afraid. He was hesitant to leave all his possessions, but the angels made it clear that everyone and everything in the city was going to be destroyed. As the angels were speaking with Lot, the evil people living in the city heard about it and came to Lot's house. They wanted to break down his door so they could harm them. They did not realize that these two men were angels from the Lord. Lot tried to argue with them, but the wicked men outside would not listen. At that moment, the angels sprung into action. They grabbed Lot, pulled him to safety, and faced the angry mob. Suddenly, all the wicked men were struck with blindness. They cried in terror, groping for the door and running around in a confused frenzy. It's time to go, the angels demanded. Grab your family and move out as fast as you can. Lot knew that they were right, even though he didn't want to go. Don't stop. Go as fast as you can. Don't look back. Lot ran. His daughters ran. His wife ran. But then, in a moment of foolishness and longing, his wife looked back. Immediately, she was frozen into a pillar of salt. Lot was torn with sadness, but he kept running. Lot was still running by the time the sun came up. At the moment that the sun peeked over the horizon, the Lord rained down fire on the city, and in a blazing explosion of heat, smoke, and light, Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed. Smoke billowed into the sky as the wicked cities burned to the ground never to rise again.